In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to actually add a firearm to our character that he can hold, that we'll be able to aim with, and all that kind of stuff. So to begin, let's just open up our character blueprint. We no longer need our skeleton or animation blueprint open. And what we're going to do is actually on begin play, we're going to add the firearm. And again, this is all done through the character component. So let's grab our character component. And if we search for add firearm, here you can see we have add firearm and add existing firearm. Now add firearm takes in a class, it spawns it and handles all the attaching and all that kind of stuff. And then for the add existing, that takes in just a pointer to an already existing firearm, such as one that might be on the ground and all that kind of stuff. And again, it does the same thing. So what we're going to do is just plug it in. And the class that we're going to select is just going to be the M4, so BP underscore M4. And we want to check set as current. So this is going to take the firearm and put it into our hands. So let's go ahead and just see what happens as is. So you can see there's nothing in our hands, but the gun is actually in the floor. So it's attached down here. So here's where we need to set up our socket for holding. So if we click on our character component here, or sorry, not the character component, I'm going to go to the firearm. So this is actually the firearm that we're holding, this one right here. And we can look at some of the options that it already has. So under FPS template, you can ignore those. We have our socket section, and here we have firearm grip socket. Now this is going to be the socket that the firearm attaches to on your character. So each firearm can have a unique socket if you want, but this is what we need to have on the character. So let's click on our character mesh, and we can just open up the skeleton for it. And here we're going to find the right hand. So that'll be this guy, and we're going to add a socket. And I'll just call it firearm grip. And I want to right click on it, add a preview asset of the M4. So it's going to be the M4 receiver. So now we just want to get it somewhat close into position. So like here, like here, and it would probably be easier if I actually played the animation. So what we can do is to get a better visual is go over here to animation and find our, let's see, I'm, oh, here it is, idle rifle hip. So we're going to hit double click on it to play it and we're going to pause it and go to the first frame here we want to grab our firearm grip and just get it roughly close to where it seems like it should line up so i want to go to five and just do one to the right heck even that's a little too much something like that and as far as the position goes uh where the grip would be somewhere probably about like that so that would be the grip so it should be sitting in the hand and we want to make sure we copy the name of the socket so we have firearm grip head back to the m4 find the firearm grip socket and just paste it in there so we have firearm grip socket is now equal to firearm grip and now when we hit play if i look down you can see the firearm is actually in the hand so position wise golly that's really sensitive it's not too bad i mean it could be moved uh let's see down a little bit and forward so i'll just do a very minor adjustment so down a little bit and forward and there that corrected it a bit okay so that's fine now we just want to handle the left hand ik so basically we have to work on that so if we click on the m4 go to sorry, i forget where some of the stuff is sometimes here it is default we have use left hand ik so we are using you know the provided left hand ik and the, basically the way that this works is it goes down the chain so currently the, the only actual like what the firearm is is what you see highlighted here it's just the receivers and the buffer tube this handguard and all that kind of stuff those are all separate parts so basically it's going to go with whatever part is on the firearm that it's actually using if, if that can make sense to you but like I'll give you an example here. So let's go ahead and click on our handguard and I'll go right to it. Open up the mesh. Okay, so here we have S underscore left hand IK. So here's our socket for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this window over, hit play, and press F8 to look at it. So here, let me try to find a decent position for it. If we move this around, you can see as I move the socket around, it moves the hand around. So I'm going to uncheck the snapping because that's really annoying. 
and just position it to where it would look, you know, relatively decent. I feel like the left hand side would look better for it if it's positioned where it's almost touching, and then move it forwards. Whoops. So move it somewhere, maybe there, and hit save. Okay, so now we have it look like he's actually properly holding the firearm, and that's good. So we have that set up. Now here's where we want to start incorporating some other features to it. So how do we handle different things? Like how do we handle aiming and leaning and all that kind of stuff? Well, that I'm going to keep in the next video, but I just want to give you an example of adding and setting up a firearm. So I'm going to do a quick reiteration over it. So basically anything that you want to do that involves the system is going to be through this FPS template character component. So adding firearms, leaning, and sprinting, all, like basically it has triggers and all that kind of stuff and is replicated and it's meant to be handled all through it. So everything specific to the plugin is going to be running through this actual component. So then we go to head and we add the firearm. Well, to do that, we want to add the firearm. We're going to add the M4. We're going to set it as the current. So the set as current means it's going to attach to the hands. And then we have to make sure that we know what socket it's going to attach to. So that's all handled through the firearm itself. So here we have our firearm grip socket. So we have to make sure that this exists on our character. So again, this will be in like the right hand. And then so we just simply add the firearm grip to the right hand. And that's it. Everything else gets taken care of for you. You have the left hand IK socket. So this will be for the receiver itself. So that would be if we didn't have a handguard and all that. And then these parts have their own. So if we look at the handguard blueprint, Again, I'll be going more into depth with this later. Go to the handguard blueprint. We have default, or sorry, we have sockets, and we have another socket left hand IK here. So because the handguard is spawned, we're going to be attaching, or we're going to be using this socket. So we're going to be using the handguard socket, not the firearms. And then if we added a forward grip, we're going to be using that socket. So if we click on forward grip, and I'll give it the default, or the default part of a study. So it's just... The, uh, well, you'll see it here in a second when I hit play. You can see now the hand is broken and it's way out of the way. It's because I it actually has an animation for it, but you can see it move the hand. So in order to do that, we go to the stubby and we handle all of the default stuff so we can get rid of the animation so that way it doesn't break the wrist. The wrist is fine. Now we just it's going to be using the forward grip. So, for example, here I have it all the way to the rear, so the, the uh, left hand is really close to the magwell. If I head over to the handguard, and I grab this forward grip, and I move it all the way up front, and then we hit play, you can see the handguard, or sorry, the hand is all the way near the front of the handguard, as long with the forward grip, so it's moving with it. So hopefully that kind of gives you a rough idea of how it actually, uh, you know, works. But anyways, that'll be covered in a separate video. I just wanted to give kind of a brief overview. And in the next video, we're going to continue setting up some functionality. So we're going to make it so you can, you know, lean, aim, that kind of stuff. So I'll see you then.